Dire structures are fortified. I'll kill them myself. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Fade shift or yields or anything like that. As then they go with the coil onto two. That's a nice stun down onto the Rubik and onto the Juggernaut as well. Red comes in though, trying to chase them off with that AoE silence. It's a BKB pop from the Ember Spirit as well. Yassi and Boombell both going down, but Solonic has also fallen. But there comes a Stone Gaze trying to bring down the Winter Wyvern. They just want anybody they can really find right now. And Seal is going to be a sacrifice, but Red coming in the backline trying to find the Bane hit. Taker could be in some trouble. Needs one more hit from the Night Stalker. Will be able to find it. Juicer fighting off into the Juggernaut here. Four star forwards as well with the snake as well. Banana is gone. The Juggernaut has died. And Fearless, he's just fighting into two here. I'm not sure they're going to win this one. Is he just fighting into the Death Prophet and the Night Stalker? They realize that this isn't going to go their way. And they're trying to back themselves up, but it's too late. They've already overcommitted to this one. X isn't going to work. Fearless, he's going to back himself out as well. So no one's actually. It's actually really good when Nyx Assassin gets higher levels. Because what we're going to end up doing is like he can keep Vendetta up permanently. It's pretty much like. 100% uptime right now anyways, like the 10 second downtime here. Oh, Nick Assassin here. gets the stun out onto the Rubik here, holding him still for the time being as the BKB is popped Omni. from the nice Stalker, but there's a stone gate. The Omni Slash just annihilates Tiger straight away as Boyle has just beaten these two heroes down here. Banana's gonna come in and try and fight up versus Phyllis here as both the Mantas come out, but Phyllis is absolutely losing this fight. The Juggernaut's got way too much damage as the, uh, well, oh, Nice Stalker's gonna get slept on the sideline, but that curse just annihilates Tigger once again as the Medusa turns around with that BKB beaten to the Juggernaut here, but Juggernaut just slices her up. Medusa, there he's gonna go down and now they're gonna get Jackie as well as they look towards Boom Bell. Boom Bell running away under the cover of Invis. Should be able to make his way out of this one. Dust. Dust in one. Ooh. No. Oh, doesn't chase, doesn't chase, gives up. But they're interested in the mid lane here as the Puck's trying to get himself away.
tangled with an elder. Very, very happy. Oh, Omni Slash in the bottom lane going onto the next house. He's running towards the creeps, but those are the enemy creeps. He's not going to jump onto those, unfortunately, bottom next. So, I oh, will go down. Oh, they get one in the trees there. Ben Hur taken out. Dendi looking forward, but ah, beautifully landed. Sam H. He's going to try and search himself away. Dendi has a raise in one second. It's going to need. Oh, no mind. He runs through the entire team. He's going to go down here for sure. He could have run into the trees, but instead, want to try and get to the safety. I I think he didn't have a TP. He did have a TP. All right. Just, uh... I mean, he, uh... Troll was hiding in the trees, but I think he kind of wanted to 
not get troll uh, okay. better out there as well? Yeah. Maybe. Don't, but don't also wanna... No, That's pro players like don't make me. those. Uh, meanwhile, another kill for the Juggernaut. This time in the middle lane. Might he be punished for this, though? Ben Hur's coming in and trying to chase him down, but he's so damn fast with this fate. Yes, uh, so there's no presence uh, affecting building. Atos. Literally just uh, edict. Wall comes out again as they run forwards here. Spike Carapace going to stun up a bunch of heroes as well, but the spin forwards is going to annihilate Nyx Tass, and he did what he could to make this fight work. And they just fire in a bunch of spells into the bottom lane, and absolutely nothing happens. They still don't want to commit to this one. Troll trying to push his own lane out in the top lane, but they're losing. And then there comes a Ravage, and they blow up Ben Hur. No more shenanigans from you. The Racks being taken down. Troll, he's getting to work. He might get a tier 3 out of this, but there's actually a to rotation coming down here. Nope, gets oh cancelled. No. Oh, it gets cancelled. Yeah, but the bottom racks do finally fall so low. That's going to be the Atos coming out. And the damage from Electrak is way too much. He's going to go down. Meanwhile, Ben Hur, he's going to be eaten as well on the low ground. Running out of spells. Sam H trying to surge away from this one. Will he be able to actually escape onto the high ground? He is. They're trying to play around. Hurrah. Also fighting up with this one as he will stun up the Venge, but the raises, well, second raise is actually missed as the Trolls now coming into this one, doing a bit of damage. Stun comes out onto him, though, but the oh Frost no! Yield... Oh, oh, they get two on the high ground with a vacuum. He's going to die for this one, but two heroes just sitting up here for the they time being. They have TPs. Neither of them have TPs. They cannot get out. Venge getting low, but they're going to focus on the Shadow Fiend here, oh. and they will be able to bring him up on the swap up to the high ground. Brings Raven down to the low ground. It will get that stun off, and now the ATOS out onto the Troll Warlord. There's Jug comes spinning through. Troll Warlord is in trouble. Doesn't have an ultimate to work with. He's just being run down. They just play Swapsies, taking it turns to stay up on that cliff. And the GG is called, even when you... Those big items. Is Doom going for it? Yeah, it looks like he is. He's, he's got 1,900 in the bank. Uh, stun out though. They're jumping him again, and this Doom might be going down once again as the Omni Sash comes out. They've got him held down, and they will be able to find this kill. And actually, the Omni Sash keeps on going as Raven loses a lot of health as well. But now Juggernaut needs to spin himself away. Running down, running down. But uh, there's a lot of heroes, but never mind the boat coming in to help the day. Oh, the finger! Not quite enough to finish the job there. The Decrepit Fire was a little bit too late. You can tell that we're going for there, but didn't quite pull it off as well as they needed to. And 1437 will die for that finger. Now. Looking for more. Torrent being used. Velo moving in the right direction. This guy's got an Aegis, but he's probably just going to die twice. Edgy pops in power strike, kill the uh, Sam H as quickly as possible in Rage. And uh, we're just trying to get bought down by a right click. And under this tier one tower. Seconds. Oh, he wants to go in. They want to help so badly. Denny from the high ground as well. They're trying to bring down the Ursa with the Decrepit Fight and the Life Drain. Denny keeping him alive for the time being. Another Doom comes out. They're going to actually get the Juggernaut with this Doom. And 458 will be chasing him down here. And I think this is the end for him. They try to get the Denied, but it comes off way too early. And now the Sven dropping low. He's going to die as well. Ben Hur needs to run himself away from this one. Doom trying to close the gap here. Will land the Infernal Blade and somehow miss the torrent as well up onto the cliff. Well, our art going for the TP out. He's successful, but the grab fight. Now the trees come out onto the Conker as well. Tiger's turned this fight around and they have got this Conker. It's taken a long, long time, but the pirate, they'll finally go through his defenses and then he gets a kill onto Ben Hur and Tigers get four. And once again, stun's coming out, and Rage used as well. I think he just needs to drop the black hole onto the Ursa here, but he just wants to get himself away from this one as Ben goes down, and there's a black hole! That is massive! Onto three, Enigma letting loose as they take down two inside of it. 1437 and 458 gone as they look towards Raven. Raven making his way over to the pit. X marks though, is going to be dragged straight back into the torrent as well. Up on the high ground, some's running away, but they're looking towards Raven. Yeah, the Sprout's doing so much work with the swap and the kill. Down goes Raven. Buybacks are available. This game is not over yet, but they just took a huge step forward on the side of dead and Sprout comes out. Velo, he's trying to get into this fight as he jumps forwards here. The Abessal Blade comes out onto the Juggernaut here, but he's just not doing any damage. Sorry, there's a Conqueror in there as the stun comes out onto two. Now Doom stunned down. Magic Missile, but Ursa's in trouble. He does manage to get the Enrage up in time, though. He's also got the Aegis to play with as well. They're running forward, looking for Sam H. Oh Avenge on the high ground. The Black Hole comes in again onto two. Down goes Dendi. Down goes 458. No buyback on 458. The Lion dead as well. It's a three-man defense now, and that is a huge ask to pull off versus Detonators right now. They're trying to come in the back lines. They don't even know what to do here. Velo holding back. They're going to get mega creeped. Holding back. I don't even know what he's looking for here, to be honest, on this Ursa. He's got the Aegis. But the team, they're just running for the barracks here as a sneaky... Oh, you see that refresher <laughs> off, dude. Is the refresher off comes out. The black hole, it's on to two again. And this might be curtains. The sneaky refresher off in the trees. Brave and being chased into base right now. He's going to sprout himself out. That's actually going to mean he survives, but Dendi does not. A dieback from him. And now inside the base, Juggernaut, he's got that satanic to work with. But yeah, 
Oh, it's question, question mark. mark. <laughs> Raven, is this a situation to be question marking? <laughs> they laugh. They laugh. It's all in good faith, I think, is GG uh, going in. No, he doesn't realize. He doesn't realize he's going for the bench in the river. And Roshan gonna fall to 4 5 eight. They get that kill. Winter's Curse gonna be used to cancel out the lasso. And, uh, well, Ember Mayo is able to get himself to the high ground, but they've lost Roshan. And uh, Velo is looking for Winter Wyvern here. Although, with Tangler coming in from the back lines as well, he's gonna be able to dish out a ton of damage onto Velo here. The ultimate being cocked up from Dandy, but they already get the kill onto Velo. That was quick. Now, now they want to be turn. running forwards. They yeah, only have uh, one remnant, and they still have to fight into an Asia's troll. Time lapse forced out from the Weaver as well. Down about a nice change onto the two cores here. Stun thrown down as well. And now they roll forwards into the Weaver here. And nice grove gonna come out and cold embrace gonna save the day, but I'm not sure you want to use these two spells together. As he just stays there until the grave runs out and then dies. And Ben Ho in trouble as well. They're gonna get another one. Tigers are doing it as they run forward. Three man stun. Is gonna be enough to save the Wyvern. It is not. He's gonna go down as well. And they're even looking for more. They're chasing forwards onto RR. They want the spend, they want everybody. He's gonna go for the TP out, but they get the swap to cancel it up into the arms of Dendi, and they'll be able to get this kill as well it is four heroes down on the side of detonator and tide really speaks to how proud they are right now tigers do find avenge though okay okay swap 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 nope not gonna use it uh, but the lasso on the back lines, they managed to drag the Wyvern down onto the low ground out of this fight as 4th day 8 just takes down the Ember Spirit, chunking away at him. He gets the Rudolph as well, just goes into the range ball and finishes off Ben Hurt. Meanwhile, Fly Solo taking care of as well. The roll forwards onto Dazzle. He's in trouble. Dazzle's going down. Now looking towards RR as well. Spend trying to make his way out of this fight, but there's not going to be any escape from him. The roll forward once again gets it. And then he wasn't even bothered. He wasn't even joining in the fight. He's just here. A rolling boulder which actually connected in time to cancel that TP of Dazzle, so... That may have been... Oh. Cheeky Manta. Wow. Well played. Just styling right now. Styling. It's the final barracks here. And uh, Tiger's positioned very likely to be able to take this one for BKB use. The ultimate as well. The final barracks are gone. They're fighting into Megas. Dendi held still on the back lines as well to get the last two out onto Ben Hur and take him down. Wayne Bear fighting up into Dendi right now, but it's looking hopeless. He's got the time left to work with, but he's just going to bring him back into the team. Actually, they've all run past him, so he will be able to get it. Oh, nope, swap, come back. Stun out as well, but a beautiful oh, stun comes in from the Sven with the cut strength as well, but unfortunately he's not even carried. He's not doing any damage. And Wayne Bear kept alive by the Dazzle, but will die by back. Dendi dropping low here, but the swap onto the low ground. Gonna keep him alive a little bit longer, and they can't find him with Ben Hurt either. The Ember Spirit unable to find this kill. I feel like they're just fighting for their dignity right now, but Sven rolled into and blown up, wanting the kill on Dendi so badly, but could not get it. And not to mention Ben Hur held still here in the back lines as well, get rooted up by 458. He tears him apart, and GG is called. Tigers have done it. They've secured their place in the closed qualifiers, beating out Detonator in the opens in this final game. And 